Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and in this episode, we are migrating a existing ASP.NET application on Docker environment with help of Visual Studio 2017. This is my existing application, and it is running on IIS 8.0 web server. This is monolithic application. It means that all features and service of this application are going to deploy on a single container. To complete this exercise, there are some prerequisites like it is required Windows 10 Pro Edition Docker or container environment doesn't work on Windows 10 Home Edition. Second, you required a Docker setup on Windows machine. And finally, you also required Visual Studio 2017 on Windows machine. It is my Windows 10 demo machine and I do have Docker installed on this machine. You can follow this article to install Docker on Windows platform. It is provided all the required steps. Docker service also required a Hyper-V service enabled on Windows machine, you can enable this feature before Docker service installation or Docker setup will enable this service automatically during installation process. You can check the status of this features, right click on Windows icon and go to apps and features, go down and click on programs and features. And click on Windows Features on off. Hyper V features or option is already enabled on my machine. No need to take any action. You can see a Docker icon on the taskbar. By default, Docker service use Linux container. We require to switch this behavior from Linux to Windows container. So right click on Docker icon and switch to windows container if it is not selected windows container on my machine it is already selected windows container so no need to take any action you also required source code of this application you can download the source code from my github account on demo machine i have already downloaded or cloned the source code from my github account I do have Visual Studio Community Edition on this machine. Let me open the project in the Visual Studio. I have opened this application in Visual Studio. Let's enable the Docker support on this application. Right click on the project and go to add and select the option called container support select the docker compose now you can see here a docker file created and it is creating a docker image for you okay docker image has been built or created you can see here a image created two minutes ago with the name called esop legacy web form now you can create n number of the container of the application let's go ahead and launch a application container from visual studio so go to visual studio and press f5 your container is getting ready excellent the application container started by the visual studio you can see the application on my browser this is the container ip address let's pull down list of container on this machine yes you can see here one container just created based on this image and you can access this container from outside of this host on any 
host IP address with the port number 7227. Let's try to access. This is the host IP address. This is the IP address of the host machine and this is the port number. I can access the application from the docker container outside the host machine. Let's go back to the Visual Studio. So let me explain what Visual Studio did for us. It created required docker file and docker compose file for this application and in next step it built a docker image for this application and store on the local docker registry location. In final step it created a application container by using this docker image. It also attached a debugger on the container while launching the application on browser. Look at on my screen. It attach a debugger process on w3wp.exe process to capture the .NET framework events. Also, it attach a application inside telemetry to capture the performance. For example, if you try to access this application on the browser, you can see here it is started to capture APM metrics for your application. So what is the benefit? It is carry forward. It is giving you opportunity to debug your application in containerization environment before moving on production or real environment. You can see output of each process in the build process, Visual Studio, compile, build and package your application in the docker output it created image file based on docker file and then create a container by using this application image let's look at the docker file and docker compose file that's created by the visual studio for the application this is the docker file look at here visual studio scan your application and decided a appropriate base image for your application since this application is compiled in dotnet framework 4.7.2 so visual studio select a image for asp.net 4.7.2 in this step it is deploying or copying all the files and folder from this location to www root folder on container it also created two compose file docker compose and docker overwrite so let me open the docker compose file in the docker compose file it is building a docker image by using the docker file that is located in the application folder which we just saw and creating a image called ESOP legacy web form. In this demonstration, this image is going to be located on the local machine. As you can see here, this is the application build and this is the base image on which our application image build on. Now you can run n number of application container by using this build image either use docker run or docker stack visual studio also perform one more step to launch the application container by using docker compose overwrite file but it is not mandatory visual studio invoke docker compose command and launch a container with a service called esop legacy form and publishing port 80 on the container using a default network you can verify the particular application container is running since 36 minutes i think that it is a best approach to scan your application code and create the required docker file and docker compose file with debugger facility by using visual studio before designing and planning to migrate 
legacy asp.net application on containerization environment you don't think so much beneficial with this simple or monolithic application but it is very useful when you are migrating microservice application on containerization environment i am going to use same demonstration for the microservice application to demonstrate how it can make your life so much easy to migrate the application on containerization environment in this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day bye